Today I'm playing with this molecular gastronomy starter kit I received as a present. If you don't know what molecular gastronomy is, it's basically playing with the physical and chemical properties of food, which can result in a more artistic presentations or different sensory experiences. The link to buy this kit is in the description box below. First, let's check out what's inside the kit. We have agar agar, which is used for jellification. Calcium lactate, which is used for reverse spherification. Sodium alginate, which is also used in reverse spherification. And soy lecithin, which is used for emulsification. We also have some handy tools to help with our molecular cooking. A slotted spoon and tablespoon, three pipettes, some plastic tubing, a syringe, and a bubble ice tray. Today I'll be trying my hand at reverse spherification. Reverse spherification is basically forming a liquid into spheres that burst in your mouth when you eat them. First, add two cups of distilled water into a blender. Then add one pack of sodium alginate and blend. Pour the sodium alginate solution through a strainer to get rid of air bubbles. Today I'm making matcha caviar, so I'm mixing matcha powder with hot water to make my liquid. Add a couple pinches of calcium lactate. To make caviar, I'm using a pipette and squeezing the liquid a drop at a time into the alginate solution. The calcium in the liquid reacts with the alginate solution and forms a membrane encapsulating the liquid. After letting the sphere sit for 3 minutes, strain and put the caviar into a water bath. Now I'm trying to make sriracha caviar. If you notice, my matcha caviar couldn't retain their shapes. They look pretty sad. Sriracha has a thicker consistency, so it's turning out better. Apparently, spherification works best with thicker liquids, like drinkable yogurt. The stronger viscosity keeps the balls in shape while forming membranes. You can add xanthan gum to thicken your liquid, but it's not included in this set. Although my matcha caviar failed, it still tasted good. I also made a huge sriracha bubble for fun. I had a lot of fun playing with molecular gastronomy, so I hope you guys try it out. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos and follow me on Instagram and Twitter to see my everyday food adventures.